Hello, my name is Mark from MarkSampson.com and welcome to my latest video. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a multi-variation listing and the reason that I've decided to do this is because um, some time ago I had a message through my eBay messages from another eBay member asking me how did I create all of those different options on one of my listings and they were referring to a what's called a multi-variation listing where you can create different variations like for example colour or size um, to a certain product. So I'm going to show you how to do that um, in this video. Now eBay have recently introduced a new selling form but it's not available to everybody yet. So I'm going to show you how to create a multi-variation listing on the standard selling form which is the one you're probably still using at the moment and for those of you who do have the um, new selling form um, I'm going to show you how to do it on that as well because at some point in the future we'll all be on the new selling form anyway I should imagine so we'll just go over to eBay then and sign in of course click on the sell tab and type in what it is you're selling. I'm going to be selling some colour angel on ornaments. And this is still as you would be used to. Select the category. Continue. Okay. Now we're on the main selling form. Now you've probably skipped this when you've gone through if you haven't already um, set up the multi-variation listing and wasn't aware how to or even that you could. But right at the top of the form you'll see here list multiple variations of your item. If we click on this bar it drops down and you can select this button here create variations. And now depending on the category that you're selling in, you'll be presented with um, a set of default options. Um, I'm actually going to be selling different colours of my product, so I'll be selecting main colour. But if there's an option that you want that isn't there, you can add your own variation. And to do that you would click on this add variation detail. So say, say for example the variation that you want is size. You type in the first box size. That's the detail. And then the variation of that detail would be the different sizes. So small, medium and large for example. Save. Now you've got your variation detail. You've got one option there. We add on as many options as you've got available. So medium and large. And now you don't click add size again because that'll open up another box for four. We only want, well, in this in my uh, example, I only want three small, medium, and large. So that's how you would add in a variation that isn't in the default options there but I don't want to use size I'll just want colour so I'm going to remove them please and I'm going to click on colour and I'm going to add in my colours so I've added in my colours and once you're happy with what you've put in click on continue and now again you're probably familiar with this page your item specifics so I'm just going to populate what is compulsory just for the purpose of purposes of, the, of this video I'm not going to go through and put in those other boxes so once you've done that you're then presented with a review of your variation so check you're happy with everything if you're not you can click on the back button and go back and change anything now I'm happy with what I've got there so I'm going to click continue and then on this page add photos to show your variations you can upload a picture of the 
main image. This is the image that will be shown as a gallery image in search results. And then you can upload images for each different variation. So I'm going to add an image for the main. This is the one I want here. So select that and upload. That's uploaded and now I'm going to upload an image for each of my variations. Now note you can upload up to 12 images per variation as well as up to 12 images for the main um, main picture itself showing all of the variations together if you like. Um, I'm just going to upload one image for each of my variations again just for the purposes of this video um, I normally would upload several for each one but I'm just going to upload one for now that's uploading and once that's uploaded I'm going to upload a picture for each of the other variations now. So I've now uploaded a picture for each of my variations. I'm going to click continue and here we enter in the price and the quantity for each variation. Um, and obviously you enter in your EAN if you've got one, if not select does not apply as normal. Normally I would put in a number because for each of my variations I do have a separate um, EAN but I'm just going to select does not apply for now and I'm going to enter in my price and quantity for each variation. So I'm happy with everything I'm going to click save now if you're not happy with anything or you want to go back and change anything there is a back button or two options one to edit variations and one to edit your pictures and now we're back to the page that we're more familiar with so go through and populate the other boxes as you would normally etc. Now the price and the quantity that you would normally enter in here has already been done because of you entering in when you set up your variations. Now another thing to point out which again you may or may not be familiar with if you've only ever sold one item per listing before but if you have sold if you've made available more than one item per listing before then you'll be familiar with this um, multiple postage option um, and of course because we've set up the multi variation we've got it available here also but for those of you who aren't familiar what this means is for the first item on this listing that somebody purchases you can enter in the postage amount and then for each item of this listing that they purchase after that, you can select an additional cost. So in this example, they would pay £3 for the first item purchased, and for each item purchased after that from this listing, they are charged an additional £1 postage. Um, obviously, if you select free postage, it's going to be free postage for the first item and free postage for each additional item after that. Apart from the listing upgrades where you can choose to enter in different amounts. And likewise for the international postage for those of you who do sell internationally as well. So that's all set up. I'm happy with everything. I'm going to click continue and list it. 
I'm going to confirm the listing so that I can show you guys how it will show to any people who come to your listing and look at it. So it's now listed on sale, uh, for sale on the eBay site. So this is how your listing will look, or in my case how my listing will look. That's your main gallery image and then um, your customer can select the colour or whatever variation detail you set up on your listing. Um, so they want a pink one, they will select pink from the menu. It will also be the same on tablet or um, phone. They can still have the option of choosing their variation or the detail that they want. So the pink one comes up. If they want green, obviously select green and the green one's going to show up. Now that's how it comes up on the selling form that we are all familiar with but as I said earlier in the video eBay have introduced a new selling form so I'm now going to show you how to do the same on the new selling form but before I do that I'm just going to pause the video and take down this listing because I don't want it to be left live I've ended that to the listing and now we're going to do the same but on the new selling form. So again, sign in and click sell. And you'll notice straight away the selling form looks different. But I'm going to use the same item uh, as I did on the um, uh, previous example. And you'll see um, here in, in this um, new selling form, it automatically selects or shows you suggested uh, categories for your item. And you select the one that you want, and it'll go through and start setting up the listing. So you'll see here, this is the new selling form. Um, so you're entering the title, which you do normally. If you set up the subtitle normally, we'll go through. And it's not until you get further down the page that you can set up your variations. So scroll down to just after your shop categories or the way you, uh, you select the um, eBay categories and click on create variations. Now this is slightly different to the form that we're used to. Um, it calls the variations attributes on this new um, form. It says variations up there, but you've got attributes and options. Now, again, um, I'm going to use color, but if the variation is not listed under the attributes you want to add your own, you click add. And again, you're presented with suggestions. If, the, if it's not there, like for example, you want size, click on add your own attribute and type in size, click save and then size is now selected and to set up the different options for your variations you can just go create your own so small etc medium so you get the idea but um, I don't want size, I just want main colour, so I'm going to select main colour and again, um, rather than you typing in each one, it's giving you options to select. So I've got um, green, pink, purple and beige. So then you come over here to this side. I don't want size, so I'm going to take that out and I'm just left with the main colour and click continue. And now this is where we enter in or sorry upload our photographs. So again you upload photographs to the um, main image 
and then further down for the variation photos you can either use the main image or you can add a photo for each variation so I'm going to upload a photo for the main image add photos or main images that one open that's loaded um, I don't want any Im more images for my main photo so I'm happy with that I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to upload images for my variation so green so I've uploaded the green one and now I'm going to pause the video and upload one for each of my other variations ok so I've now uploaded an image for each of my different variations and as in the standard selling form you can upload 12 photos per variation if you wish to do so so scroll down and now we enter in our EAN as before if we've got one or if it's not apply if not and then enter in our prices and quantity available which I've now done click on save and close and we're back to the main page for our sell your item form So again, as before, entering all the details you should normally. Um, now I'm not going to actually go through and actually list it this time because the listing itself will still sh show the same as it did when I used the standard selling form that we're all used to. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to set up the different variations using this new setting form um, now one thing I will point out is when you come through to set up your postage options and I have reported this to eBay where you can enter an amount for your each additional item purchased or your domestic options for some reason it doesn't allow you to enter in an each additional additional item postage for international um, I believe that's a bug um, I think this selling form is still in its beta phase um, so you'll see that's the top here it says send us your feedback and I have sent my feedback a couple of times as I have noticed some bugs with it you will find or I have found anyway that when uploading images sometimes you get an error message or doesn't upload properly and you have to delete it and go through and do it again so it is still in its beta phase, so, uh, phase but um, that's basically how you go through and do it anyway so I'm now not going to upload that as I say um, I hope that you have found this video interesting and of use um, and thank you for watching.